Hola, hola. Welcome back. Bienvenidos here at Burgundy Pal Makeup. Today is review video. This means we come to the end of the week for palette of the week. This week ran from July 5th to July 11th from 2020. And I was very excited for this palette of this week because it's really, really colorful. It has all the colors of the rainbow and y'all know how much I love color. So without further ado, the palette of the week is Elf in collaboration with Jay Kissa to the Rescue Palette. De colore. Anyways, so this is a limited edition palette, so it won't be around forever, and it's a rainbow, as you may see, a rainbow-themed palette. At the same time, it's also themed, as you may see, there's like pet motif, specifically dog, decorations or the design the art includes dogs and as you may see because of the name basically it's inspired by rescue pets all the 18 shades in this palette is named after a rescue dog which makes it so sweet I have two dog myself and they're all, all of my dogs have been rescued they're the best pets rescue please there's many dogs that need it you know give a home to one of those who don't have we don't deserve dogs they're the best thing you know they're just the best. I have two little doggies, Coco and Luna. Like I said, they're both rescue dogs. They're mutts and they're the best. Anyways, back to makeup. So it says here in the back, let me read it to you. She mentions or she says, quote, I wanted to create my version of a perfect rainbow palette. If you love color like me or are just trying out color, also, I think there is something in here for every maker lover. Take kiss up. And it is cruelty free and it's a vegan palette. All right, these were sold at elfscosmetics.com. Last I checked, they were sold out. They are limited to the edition. I haven't checked, but they also sell it at Ulta. So if you're interested, uh, I really don't know if there's gonna be a restock. Sometimes they say there's limited editions, but they kind of like restock it one or two times and then it's gone. Uh, but it is does say it's a limited edition. I think it's the second collaboration J. Kissa has with Elf. And the first one, you can't find it unless it's resale or used or something like that. So go check it out. Like I said, they also sell it at Ulta. Now, when I saw the previous on this palette on the IG, um, to be honest, this is my first rainbow palette. Yeah. So when I saw it, you know, there's many options that I could have gotten for the first one, but there's so many makeup palettes coming out to you and you know I go as the ones that catch my eye and you know I wasn't really in a hurry to get a rainbow palette but when this one came out and let me show you um, basically it was a second row of this palette that called my attention oh I forgot to tell you it also comes with stickers I don't know if you can see them Basically, it had like the alphabet and stickers and whatever art cover designs that were in there. You can go with your makeup look or you can just do some work if you want. To be honest, it doesn't really matter, but it's, it's a cute thing to have. Anyways, when I saw the previews on IG, basically what caught my attention of this palette was this row right here. Usually rainbow palettes contain more than the six basic rainbow colors which they're supposed to actually be seven there's pinks and stuff like that in it um some don't some stay strict to the six colors but this row right here i appreciated it because they're not your typical vivid rainbow colors they pick the brightest red the brightest orange brightest yellow the brightest green this blue looks phenomenal in the pan and brightest violet brightest vivid there in your face rainbow colorful happy go lucky good this palette what i liked a lot about is the second row which if you look closely for me is like a darkened burned version of the first colors and you know like ochre yellow this is an orange this is more like this is more like a yellow orange this is more like a red orange this burnt red this beautiful green uh, this one is darker in the pan the light is making me way way much much lighter than what it is and then your option for the same row of glitters and or shimmers they're not glitters they're shimmers metallics and shimmers so this row is when you say you know what i'm gonna get it and you know the price of this is 20 bucks 
So I was like, let's try it out. I appreciated the theme of this palette, like rescue dogs. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's make this my first rainbow palette. It has, you know, everything that I need visually. Let's see how it performs. All of these names, even though they sound like things like strawberry, they're, like I said, they're names of rescue dogs. So, I already did three looks with this palette and I'm about to do the fourth one right now with you after I swatch for you. I've been working with all of the colors, the only ones that I'm missing is this one and this one. So I'm going to use them today in combination with some others. But I'm pretty much using one way or another all the other colors. So at the end, I'm going to give you my two cents on how this performed in my experience. So how about we start with some swatches? Colorful swatches. All right, I am ready. Ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna start with the brightest colors. Then we're gonna start with this burnt darker version, some darker value colors. Then we're gonna end with the shimmers and metallics. And we're gonna see them all. So this is an 18 pan palette. And now uh, let's see how I'm gonna fit them in my arm. But I have everything ready, so let's begin. We're gonna start with the first one, which is Casey, the brightest red. So here we go. This rescue dog it is called Casey. That's the first one. Second one is called Millie. It's a nice orange. It's like a yellow orange. The third one is a yellow, and I always have issues with yellows because a good yellow is very hard to come about. It's the nature of the color. It's just the lightest color in the color wheel and it's just very translucent or opaque because of it. So here we go. Let's see how this performs. It's alright. It's as expected to be honest. Nothing too ordinary. Like out of the ordinary, nothing. You know, this is there. This, at least you can see it. So that's good. And this one's called Yosemite. Alright, so yeah, it's it's there. It's not bad. Alright, and the next one is the green. It's called Peaky. Ooh, that's a pretty green. Okay, I'm liking this so far, how it's how it looks in my arm. All the colors next to each other. Now cannoli, which is the next one, let me show it to you. Pretty. All right, let's do, uh, go with the violet one. It's called Sadie. By the way, my arm is not primed, so it is what it is. And that looks beautiful all together. So it looks like it's pigmented. Even the yellow, it's it's there. It, does, it didn't give me enough power to go all the way to the end, but it's there. And that's, you know, appreciative because yellows are very good quality. Yellows are hard to find. So they are very bright, they're very vivid, and I want to compare them to the other ones that I just told you. I think I'm going to put them next to each other so we can see and compare them. The first row, the regular rainbow we did once. So let's go with the second row, which is our little bit more burnt or darker uh, colors. Now the red counterpart, it is called Pepper. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this is called Pepper. And you can see that it's a little bit darker. It's like pretty much the same color but darker. Okay, now let's do the orange. And this one's a little bit more red orange, making it a little bit darker than the regular, the, the one that I have on the top. And you know what? These are, no, it, you can't see the difference. More yellow, more orange. At least I can see that. All right, and the yellow, it is a very different one. This is like a ochre kind of type yellow in there so that one you're gonna see it right away there we go it's a nice yellow too and then the green one and let me tell you this is my favorite color of the whole palette other than the cannoli fabulous it's called tank and I don't think any of the palettes they're not that many but they're not that little but from the palettes that I have, I don't have this green in any of them. So, I love this green. Look 
how beautiful that is. I am loving this green. It is patchy though, but buildable. I already used it. But love it. That color, I love it. Alright, so the next one is called Thatcher. I don't know if I mentioned this one's called Tank. Let me go back. Pepper, Zuma, as in Paw Patrol. Anyways, Zuma, Paloma, Tank, and the dark blue is called Thatcher. What can I say? They're very pretty colors. I can say the second row. I repeat myself when I'm excited. The last one of the second row. It's the violet. It's a little bit more. It's just a violet. This one's kind of like a red violet. This one's a violet. Uh, it's called Pretty Girl. Ooh. Pretty indeed. So these are the first and second row of this palette. And now we're going with the shimmers. Vamos a ver. Let's take a look. All right, all right, all right. So the first one is the red one, but it gives you more like a red violet, more red than violet type of vibes. So let's see. Solid. Then is the orange one. Okay, this one's, this one's called strawberry. And then the next one's called Suki. Suki. And the yellow part, the yellow one is called Firefly. And I think this is one of the, what they mentioned, metallic, because it looks very nice. Look at the difference from the first two to this one. Okay, this, I had a blast using it in my last look. As soon as I put it on, I knew it was special. Look at that. Alright, now the green one. Let's see how it looks. Let's see. Ooh, pretty as well. Very nice. This one's called Regan. Now the blue one is called Bailey. And I love playing with this one as well. It's a very beautiful thing. Just put more of it because so you can appreciate the beauty of this color. How pretty all those colors look. And we're down to the last one, which is the violet. This one is called Confetti. So this is the whole palette. Mm, 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 mm. Pretty darn excited. It's really nice. Very pretty. This watch is really nice. And like I mentioned, my my arms my arm isn't primed, so this is why. But for not being primed, be your own judge. So, ahora well, I will be creating my the fourth look, so you can see it in action. There's two more videos of I do at least two to four looks a week with palettes before I make this video as a review, which is gonna come towards the end, so I can make this review more objective as I have experienced playing with it, so that you can see the process and what I and what I use. Um, you can go back and check it out. I also you can check you can check the looks in my Instagram as well with the pictures and all that good stuff. So we're going to begin, I think I'm going to do a shimmer only look. Uh, I'm debating and using um, the ones that I haven't used, but I'm not sure. I think I'm going to go with the gold or the yellow, the blue and the violet. But to be honest, as I'm working on it, it might, like, I might have a change of heart or a change of mind. So to be honest, I have like an idea and then it flows into something else and that's okay. So we'll see, so we're about to begin. So we'll review this in a couple of minutes. Until then. So yeah, I use these darky tapes because they make my life much easier. To be honest, I can do it without them, but 
Ain't nobody got time for that.
Vamos a ver. I'm going to be very honest. I am going to be very honest with you with this palette. I did come across some technical difficulties. And I don't know if you noticed, but I'm going to let you know right now. Um, but this is a look. I used one of the shimmers that I haven't used, which is the Violet. The only shimmer that I did not use of the whole palette is the green. So, queda pendiente. I'll maybe later I'll just let you know but looking at the palette the green I was noticing this as I was working uh, I don't know if you can see it I'm gonna get a close-up to you there's six shimmers and the first two which is strawberry and Suki and Bailey and confetti differ in texture from Firefly and Regan. So I'm assuming how your yellow performed, Regan's gonna perform in the eye. So overall, use, in my experience using this palette this past week, with the first through fourth look, which is this one, is yes, the colors are pigmented. Some of them are patchy. My favorite color, Tank, is patchy. This violet, uh, which its name is Pretty Girl, is patchy. The second red, uh, pepper is also patchy um, but they're workable but you know you have to go through that extra work the colors are very pretty like I said what made me grab this palette is this second row of colors which I think some of these colors are pretty unique I'm in love with this one uh, it's nice to have a darker value colors and they're not just your typical brides and their companions the shimmers so yes, they are pigmented, they're colorful, they're really nice. You saw the swatches at the beginning. Obviously they're starting to fade because I'm moving around. Um, but you saw them when they went in. It looks really nice in my arm without primer. Other than the patchiness and not all of the shadows, but the ones that I noticed, um, but you know, different pigments. It's just the nature of the pigments to work differently. Now for the shimmers and look that I did, yesterday the one that i looked like a crazy parrot the yellow performed really well however today i don't know what it was which i didn't use anything too different to be honest look at the i'm going to show you i don't know if you notice a difference on both eyes which one is more colorful or which one's more vibrant this one yesterday this gold yellow didn't give me any trouble like it was of all the three colors that i chose in my lid the yellow was the brightest one today as i applied it it was like fading i mean it is i already put a spray um setting spray and it's not as vibrant as yesterday's the blue when i used it on my second look i did put cannoli first in and then the blue and that's how it showed now i did this time i wanted to show on its own and it's not as impressive so i do ha i have used shimmers that just go like that and i don't need a matte base underneath or glitter glue just by themselves it show and it, i did put concealer in there and they're fading uh, on this one they're not as bright but you can see the difference that this one's brighter what i did with this one as i was working off camera to save time I to see if there's a difference I used the NYX glitter glue and kind of made a difference but I did have concealer underneath so as much as I want to like the shimmers the shimmers in this palette they're lacking um, apparently they don't stand on their own either you need to put a base color underneath like the light yellow and then the gold on top or the, the blue and then the, the blue on top or use extra help it just seems that they're like very loose so the particles spread and you're just le left with the was the leftover of the color and it's not packed in there as you put it like you don't put it and it stays there packed because it pick the, the shimmers is pigmented and it's full and it's in there it's just like loosely there and if you don't prepare your eye well it won't stay and you can see how the glitter transferred to the top because it's just loose everywhere so that's a little bit down that's like a little bit down of a down, downfall on this palette those shimmers 
dejar mucho de qué hablar. You know, they're underwhelming, to be honest. So, sorry, not sorry. It's what I felt. And can you tell the difference from the blue and the gold? Yeah, this one looks whiter. Like, you can see the concealer through them. Uh, but this one's a little bit more vibrant. So, I guess be well aware that if you buy this palette and use the shimmers, uh, that the time, and I use setting spray on both, that within time, it's gonna fail you. So make, if you buy it, which is really nice, it's affordable, uh, it's a cute theme, uh, just be well aware that you're gonna have to use something else to just keep them in there. Um, but yeah, it's just a, an honest opinion of what I've experienced. Here, you see, yellow, faded yellow, yellow, faded yellow. Just keep that in mind. I did not mention um, this mirror. I mean, it's very big. For those who, you know, appreciate the mirror in your palette, it does come with a mirror and it's completely extended to the most of the frame of the palette. So that's pretty much it, guys. This is más que nada todo lo que tenía que decir. The colors are very nice, the variation of the colors. You know, there's two variations for each color. They come with their accompanied shimmers. However, some of them, at least four out of the six, need help to show their maximum capacity. Um, concealer wasn't enough for this look. I, have to I had to use glitter glue and then setting spray. And you just, you know, like I said, it's my two cents. You decide if you want it or not. Let me know in the comments if you have this palette, if you agree, if you disagree, uh, or maybe some tips to make this more vibrant or easy to work. Just let me know. Um, so this is the end of the review of the ELF collaboration with Jay Kissa to the Rescue palette. I will be posting this look on IG. Make sure you follow me at burgundy.pow. There I have recorded my other three looks. On Sunday, I will be revealing the next palette of the week by the third week of July. So stay posted on my Instagram on Sunday so you can see the reveal. If not, it will be appearing at the end of this video. The whole point of the Burgundy Pal Palette of the Week challenge is that not only do I it's for me too. I force myself to use all of my palettes because they're just there collecting, collecting. It's impossible to use them all. But can I really let them all go? I want more. Anyways, I force myself to use all of the palettes that I own. I keep myself busy, keep myself productive, keep my creative flow, get to know them better. So whenever I need like a certain look, I know where to find it, what to expect of them, um, and if you know how they perform. Um, and then I can also provide you with a humble opinion on what it is. Uh, but you can also follow this challenge, you guys. Like if you have this palette, you can do looks and share it with me on Instagram. You can use the proper hashtags. They're all there at the end of the video. Just go to my uh, Instagram. And then by clicking those hashtags, we can find each other, comment, uh, elevate each other, bring each other up, give suggestions, anything positive to each other, you know, bringing us together with makeup. So that's basically what it is. So stay tuned for next week's palette on Sunday. You can also hit subscribe if you like what you see, comment. Uh, let me know what you think. I love reading comments and engaging in conversations with you all guys and seeing sometimes where from the world you're saying hi. That's so exciting. Um, I also have a Facebook page. It should be appearing somewhere in there just in case you're not an Instagram person. The Facebook page is right there. Just make sure that you hit like. So whatever it is, thank you so much for your support and much, much love. As I end this video, here's one last glimpse as I test everything in my arm. <laughs> Blush, lipsticks. Anyways, here you go. Here it is. Elf collaboration with Jack Kiss a limited edition to the rescue palette. So I end this video as always guys and you so much love, positive vibes, blessings, the light everything good to you all guys and i hope you have a great week and i'll see you soon
besos a Dios.